Jenny. I'm going to be giving a brief tutorial on some aspects of library thing that can be great for small libraries. So the first thing I want to talk about is the ability to add non-book media items through library things website. If you go into the add books tab where you normally add your books, down here on the left where it asks you where you'd like to search, the last option is Amazon.com Books, Music, and Movies. If you click this, it'll still give you book results if whatever you're searching for happens to be a book as well as a movie. Um, but it will also uh, give you movie options. If you just search with Amazon.com Books, it'll only give you book options. And um, it, it is possible to search, I know at least in Library of Congress, um, for non-book items. That was the way in the past, was the only way to add non-book items to your library thing catalog. Um, they added this um, a little while ago, which made it significantly easier. So we'll do an example with um, a title that is both a book, as we can see, um, a few different editions, and um, also a movie. Here's the movie, and then there's even some um, CDs or uh, music collections with the title In Cold Blood. Uh, but I want the movie, so I'll go ahead and click on this, and here it is in my library. Um, if I want to go in and add some tags, I can do that. I give it a rating, etc., the usual thing. Additionally, though, I would suggest going and adding a collection that is specifically um, for movies or, again, another one for music. <laughs> gather all of those items in one place. Um, so while we're on the subject of adding things into your library, um, I think it's really important to know that Library Thing has an app. Uh, currently, it is just um, for the iPhone. It's almost a year old, so maybe they'll be revamping it or ready to release whatever they've been working on soon. Um, the app is really cool because in addition to being able to browse and search your library and do basic edits on the go, you can also scan books with your... Um, iPhone camera, which is super great and way easier than searching for books. Um, and um, there's also ways to uh, browse and upload covers using your camera, which is a pretty neat way to um, use your other technology for your library thing site. Um, Additionally, barcode scanners are also something that you can use if you want to scan things while at your desktop or laptop. Uh, they recommend the QCAT scanner because it's really cheap, but any scanner would work just fine. Um, another really important thing to know about is um, in the More tab, uh, in this features menu, um, they talk about all these different really important things. I would highly recommend checking out this tab. Um, but import export is pretty important to know about because there is an option to do a mark import. So um, that's really helpful for small libraries, I'm sure. And, um, and then you can also export as mark data um, in addition to Excel or um, JSON. So um, that's really good to know about, I think. Um, and again, in this more tab, <laughs> as they say, library thing is an ocean and there's a lot more. Um, so you should definitely be sure to um, uh, look into like what you can do in terms of linking your Facebook and Twitter accounts. And um, uh, you can like go ahead and buy QCATs straight away from library thing and um, uh, and uh, learn about the other ways to import and export. So that's pretty neat. Um, another thing that I think is a really great aspect of 
the site is the local tab. So if you go here, um, Setting your private location is actually going to allow them to show you what local events are in your area. The public location is what is shown on your profile page. Um, so let's say I want to set my location as Boston. Um, I can see specifically what's going on in Boston. The coolest thing I think here is little libraries it shows you what little libraries are within 25 miles of you lists a bunch of different local venues local events it's got the map which is helpful and um and then up here you can also add your add your venue or add your events and this is a great way to promote your library if you've got events or maybe you've teamed up with a local bookstore or cafe and you guys are promoting things for them um, in general, it's just really great and, you know, it's like all kinds of events. Um, I think that this brunch bunch clearly sounds like the best book group to be going to. Um, so, um, if you go to the homepage, a lot of um, ways that I've learned how to better utilize library thing is in this um, very short introduction link here. I have linked it in the description below for ease of use. Um, they've got everything from signing up to the site to um, like details about the catalog page and how to like change the style. Like you can set custom styles and then save them so like maybe today you're interested in style c and then you're like just kidding i want style a today um and they give you a lot of details about like other ways to utilize the groups and the forums and again the local section i just showed you and then zeitgeist is pretty neat tab if you've never checked that out it's worth a click it just is like basically the reason that online catalogs can be so cool because you can look at all this really um, interesting data um, and that's I think pretty neat aspect of using a site like this. The last thing that I'd like to talk about is the option to uh, use Tiny Cat. So there's a group devoted to Tiny Cat. Tiny Cat um, is a way for to create an online catalog if you are a small library or even if you want to create one for yourself. Like if you promote library thing as a thing for your users to use, creating a Tiny Cat for a personal library is actually free. Um, if you go to the Tiny Cat website, um, uh, they like this is what your catalog will look like, which is really nice. And then um, you can, if you're personal, it's free. And then um, depending on what size of an organization or whether you're paid or volunteer, it's uh, anywhere from three to 10 to $35 a month, which is all really inexpensive. So um, uh, this is a great thing to check out if you're interested in getting a catalog online and um, linking it through the work that you've already done in library thing the group in addition to giving you like super helpful links and stuff like that also provides a forum for conversations you can have with other people who are using tiny cat any problems that might come up um like people want to not have book reviews show up on their catalog or other things like that so it's really great way to utilize um, the community that's already been built on library thing for um, for the library. Um, library thing is definitely related to library science for so many reasons. Um, it's a really great way to get into a library community um, and link it to your other social networking pages. I think it's a great site to promote to your users um, and so that they can like catalog their own collection at home and maybe um, uh, learn about local events that are specifically related to libraries, check out other libraries in their area. Um, there's a lot going on on this site 
um, that is so specifically targeted to the library community as opposed to something like Goodreads, which is more generally just a reading community. Um, so I hope you've learned some stuff in this tutorial. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.